the CEO and producer of New Jeans, Min Hee Jean, called out a group Illit as a fake New Jeans group, she added, and other celebrity names like BTS and TWS in the process. She called out Hybe for stealing her concept and says that due to that, they are threatening to fire her, but Hybe says she is plotting a coup by releasing private information about their company and their artists. It all began on April 22, when news emerged that Hybe had called for a shareholders meeting of its subsidiary Adur and demanded the resignation of CEO Min Hee Jin as part of exercising shareholder rights. They were raising suspicions that Adur was attempting to become an independent label. Reportedly, they called for a shareholder meeting to appoint another CEO from Hybe itself. Then Min Hee Jin was accused of leaking the company's and artists' private information. I have uploaded a video about this whole situation, so if you want more in-depth information about the beginning of their beef, go check it out. Min Hee Jin claimed they want to kick her out due to her calling them out for copying new jeans with Illit. Asserting that the new group copied new jeans outfits, cosmetics, images, choreography, and hairstyles. Illit made their debut last month with the EP Super Real Me, which achieved considerable success with their hit song Magnetic, breaking the record for new jeans debut album. The remarkable similarities between Illit's teaser images and new jeans led many netizens to make the connection right away. Especially some claims that Min Hee Jin does have a concept that she has been using for many years, as you can see in SM's artist posters while she was working there. But of course, not all think that Illit is the copy of new jeans and that nobody can own concepts, this whole topic is full of mixed opinions. At that time, Hype wasn't saying much and just released a statement to its staff saying everything was all right, it's all lies, and they will overcome this. During a press conference on April 25th, Min Hee Jin released a chat showing that Bang Si Hyuk had high expectations for her. In the chat, Bang Si Hyuk says, you can crush us pa, right? Indicating his goal to surpass SM Entertainment. Bang Si Hyuk added, forget us pa, and let's create Min Hee Jin's world, showing that he wanted to give Min Hee Jin full control over the direction of new jeans. After the press conference, people's opinions shifted, and they started siding with Min Hee Jin. Hybe's media play is so fucking dirty. Stop it. Please tone down the media manipulation. Honestly, I can't say I'm on Min Hee Jin's side, but Hybe's media propaganda is just too overwhelming. It's not just communities, but also YouTube and Instagram, public opinion is like that. The more I watch, the more I see that she's just an office worker. No wonder I felt strange from the beginning when I heard about someone holding less than 20% of the shares and intending to take over management rights. Now looking back, I see she's just a mentally drained worker being tossed around by the company. The company's purpose of trying to dominate the market against individuals seemed too clear. If you want me to make a detailed video about their beef following what happened since I made the previous one, comment below. So now, after some details of Min Hee Jin and Hybe's beef, here's how it's affecting New Jeans. Min Hee Jin claimed that Hybe was treating New Jeans poorly in the email that she sent to Hybe, New Jeans, and their parents. New Jeans is suffering damage due to the concept plagiarism of Illit, and Hybe is treating New Jeans poorly. Hybe believes that the official complaint email Min sent before the audit was a strategic move to prepare for this independence. The involvement of both New Jeans and their parents further bolsters this pretext. However, netizens disagree with the statement that Hybe is treating New Jeans poorly. I guess getting a luxury apartment in Gangnam is poor treatment. This sounds like the New Jeans members and their parents are being heavily gaslit by Min Hee Jin. I don't think the girls were treated poorly at all. They were paid two months after making their debut. They don't have crazy schedules. As soon as they debuted, they became ambassadors of luxury brands. And they get a long vacation after each promotion. They are the only girl group that appeared in BTS's music video. It has been reported that the parents of New Jeans members were actually the first to raise concerns about the alleged New Jeans being copied by Illit. New Jeans parents shared their concerns to a doer, and they requested that a doer resolve the issue through discussions with Hybe. In response, a doer sent a formal request for corrective action and other documents to Hybe on April 3rd. In turn, Hybe requested a meeting with the New Jeans members' parents. However, New Jeans parents felt that Hybe's response lacked sincerity and declined the meeting. In the midst of this, a social media post by New Jeans member Hian has sparked curiosity, seemingly lending support to CEO Min Hee Jin. 
The post featured several photos, including one of Hien lying face down with the words stop copying written in small letters. Of course, it could mean nothing, but what Min Hee Jin said in the press conference made people believe that New Jean stands with Min Hee Jin. Min Hee Jin shared that the members of New Jeans called her late at night, crying because they felt bad for her. She got emotional, stating that she could earn around 70 million US dollars by just sitting still as a CEO. But she chose to stand up for New Jeans. It seems that CEO Min Hee Jin and the New Jeans members had a bond that went beyond the typical relationship between an agency CEO and artists, sparking even greater interest. In the past, CEO Min has shared various photos from her personal life, including moments spent with the New Jeans members, on her personal Instagram account. She has also posted excerpts from letters she received from the members' mothers, which have garnered attention. At that time, the mothers expressed their gratitude to CEO Min with messages such as, the connection between Minji, our family, and CEO Min feels like a true gift. Please maintain this wonderful relationship for a long time. We are always cheering for you. Thank you for supporting them during their challenging parenting times, and thank you for raising the new Jeans members so well, I bow in gratitude once again. It kind of proves that what Min Hee Jeans said about new Jeans in the press conference is the truth. New Jeans probably love Min Hee Jean and want to continue working with her, and this whole situation is really hurting them. According to reports on April 27, Hybe has been trying to contact New Jeans' parents directly in the middle of the feud between Hybe and a doer CEO Min Hee Jean. With New Jeans dropping their latest single, Bubblegum, reports say the parent label has been attempting to contact the members' parents, but no other updates have been released. In a call with media outlet YTN, Min Hee Jean reportedly expressed in an angry tone that she knows New Jeans' parents did not reply to Hybe's phone call. So what's going to happen to New Jeans? In the music industry, there are concerns that if members follow Min's path, it could lead to a reenactment of last year's 50-50 lawsuit, where members filed for termination of exclusive contracts with their agency. Min Hee Jin, being a major shareholder at Hybe, is preparing grounds for a lawsuit to avoid contract termination liabilities, as ending the contract with New Jeans could entail substantial penalties. Despite the possibility of raising funds from foreign investors to cover these penalties and setting up a new corporation, the penalties are expected to be significant. Given that New Jeans debuted in 2022 and the typical contract duration for K-pop groups is seven years, about five years remain in their contract. According to the standard contract by the Korean Fair Trade Commission, penalties are calculated by multiplying the monthly average revenue of the last two years by the remaining months in the contract. With New Jeans recouping their investment within two months post debut and still having 60 months left, the penalty could exceed several hundred billion won. An industry insider noted that the investment in girl groups varies by agency, but it generally ranges between 7 billion and 10 billion won. In fact, achieving revenues of at least 7 billion won within just two months suggests that as activities increase in 2023, the monthly average revenue is likely to rise further. Even if the initial monthly revenue was at least 3.5 billion won, a simple calculation based on the standard exclusive contract would amount to 210 billion won. As well, there is also a possibility that if New Jeans decided to leave, they could sue them, and the lawsuit would take a few years. But there are people who want New Jeans to stay with them. On the 24th, New Jeans fans sent a truck protest in front of Hybe's headquarters in Yongsan, Seoul, displaying messages like Min Hee Jean, Stop Exploiting New Jeans and Their Families, and Bunny Support Hybe Affiliated New Jeans. The best scenario for the girls is to stay with Hybe. Of course, it would be sad for girls to say goodbye to Min Hee Jean, but they wouldn't need to terminate their contracts, and just everything would stay the same. Insiders familiar with Hybe's internal affairs gathered opinions, stating, Within Hybe, there is a prevalent opinion that we cannot continue with Min. Min's excessively autocratic leadership is the cause. However, if Min resigns as demanded by Hybe, it is speculated that investors looking to capture Min, who has become a brand through this incident, will line up. A mid-sized music industry figure said, having produced New Jeans, an outstanding result after passing through SM Entertainment, both domestically and internationally, investors will line up. Hybe also strategizes to put in every effort to preserve the IP called New Jeans if Min resigns. Multiple music industry insiders predicted, in order to save New Jeans without Min Hee Jean, the current management team, troubled by Min's autocratic management, will put even more effort. As of right now, Park Ji Won, CEO of Hybe, sent an email on the 23rd, urging to do their best in their work for New Jeans' comeback and growth. 
He also added, I ask those involved to put in special efforts so that the artists are not shaken by this incident. Now we need to wait and see which scenario will come true, 